Hello everyone, it is me, just True, or True James, and I am here with another do review. Now, you can probably see I'm wearing my new shirt. I got this in my last do review, which may or may not be published before this do review. I'm hoping it will be. Anyway, in honor of our new flavor, melon, uh, major melon, we are going to be having another unexpected do review. I wasn't planning on doing one for about another month, but when I saw this in the store, I just knew. I had to have it. Anyway, before we get into the extra fancy drinking of dew, there are first a few points we need to cover. First of all is the long-awaited dew review theme song, which I actually have for you today. So. Let's get into that. Hi, welcome to a do review. My name is True, and I'll review whatever do you want me to. It could be new, it could be blue. Don't have a clue. It's do review. Do review. All right. I hope you enjoyed that extra special do review theme song. I'm going to be doing that for every video now, unless. I get an overwhelming number of comments saying, please, don't do that theme song. I hate it so much, and if you did it, I would never watch Do Review again. But, I don't think anyone's going to comment that, because I know that my Do Review fans are uh, also very musical. So, second point that we always cover here on Do Review is the presentation and marketing for the Do. Now, surprisingly, I actually had heard about this Do before I saw it at Walmart. And it was just because I saw all of the fellow uh, Do Review community members posting about it on Twitter. Uh, it has a pink tinge to it. Well, it's barely even a tinge. It's actually just entirely pink. And that is not the bottle, as you can see up here. This is the actual color of the drink. Now, the pink color, obviously, is because it's watermelon flavored. And the inside of a watermelon is pink. The outside is green, which explains the green borders on the little uh, label here, and the green cap. Now, for those of you that study the color wheel, you'll notice that pink and green are neither complementary colors or adjacent colors. They are sort of loosely connected. Reds, complementary color is green, of course, but purples is yellow, and for many, pink falls right in between the two. So you would be expecting a uh, different color than just general bright green. However, I think the presentation works very well. Along with that, we have a couple of uh, things to show off here on the label itself. The flavor is, of course, Major Melon. So you can see a little doodle of a watermelon here, where he is dressed up as a member of the military, in which one of the ranks, I believe, is Major. So that explains that. 
Over here, again, you have a couple of watermelons that have been chopped up and are sort of oozing. You can see one has some seeds inside of it. However, the drink itself has no seeds. So you don't need to worry about choking or getting pregnant with a watermelon in your stomach. As you can see, on the cap there is another Pepcorn. I've started a little collection of these because I just drink so much of the dew. Anyway, let's get into it. The smell is very strongly watermelon. Now, I haven't eaten many watermelons in my life, but I have had a lot of watermelon flavored gum, and I can tell you that this smells exactly like that. So, the taste, of course, is melon. There is no uh, sort of secret about that. You'll find with a lot of Mountain Dew flavors, the actual flavor is very hard to discern. Most Mountain Dews tend to stick to a sort of fruit flavor. Melon is no exception. I may be mistaken, but I don't think there has ever been a Mountain Dew that was lemon, f melon, excuse me, flavored before. And if there was, it certainly wasn't watermelon flavored, I hope. Anyway. I actually hold this dew in high regards. It tastes much more uh, like a traditional soda. Like this could exist independently of being a Mountain Dew flavor. It could just be a soda of its own. However, I do believe there is a high concentration of caffeine in this, and that is what Mountain Dew is known for. I will have to ponder long and hard after this video is over what rating I would give it, but I can assure you it will be in the description. I am very interested in hearing the fellow Du Connoisseur's opinions on melon. I'm sure most of you, like myself, immediately went to your local Du distributor to get yourself a bottle or can if it's possible once you heard it was released so <clears throat> give me your ratings in the comments below this has been just true and I will be seeing all of you very very soon <laughs>